Hi guys, welcome to another Electronic Clinic video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is about the uh, button debouncing. So before we start the programming, let's first discuss what is bounce. What is a contact bounce? A contact bounce is a common problem with mechanical switches and relays. Switch and relay contacts are usually made of springy metals when the contacts strike together their momentum and elasticity act together to cause them you know, to bounce apart one or more times before making steady contact so the, the result is a rapid pulsed electric current instead of a clean transition from zero to full current the effect is usually unimportant in power circuits but causes problems in some analog and logic circuits that respond fast enough to misinterpret the on off pulses as a data stream so well all that means if you don't solve this problem you start counting for example you are writing a program to uh, for the counting purposes like one two three four five six so when you press the contact uh, it results in an abnormal operation like uh, instead of reading 10 it will count 12 13 or even 8 or 6 so that is just because of the debouncing effect so let me show you one video that is actually uh, available on the YouTube uh, if you look at this uh, code you can see that uh, he's uh, using a function to uh, return the state and also it uh, consists of delays if you check the program you'll see that there are delays as you can see we're delayed then and well, if you uh, if you read the comments over here, that is uh, your way of debouncing using delays is wrong and not educational. Delays should be avoided at any price. You should use timer interrupts or your move and mirrors to to achieve debouncing without stopping the normal program flow. So. Uh, the program I'm going to write, I will not be using any function to return the state or I will not be using any delays and this uh, program which looks pretty complex for the new beginners uh, to understand. So how to do it in a very easy way without the use of functions and uh, reading the current state or the previous state. So let's start uh, the programming and uh, Open Proteus, Let's first make this uh, simple circuit. The LED is connected to pin number 13 and with LED I've used a 330 ohm resistor. And uh, the push button is connected to pin number 2 and it is ground. And uh, this is a virtual terminal to <coughs> read what's happening. So let's start the programming. integer LED is equal to 13 it means that the uh, LED is connected to pin number 13 and integer button is equal to 2 I will be using two plagues integer play 1 play 1 is equal to 0 and integer du plague is equal to Zero. So that is button of the flag. White setup. Now let's activate the serial communication. Serial dot begin ninety six hundred. Mode. LED has output. And 
let's keep the heading of state so digital make a little basic program and we will see what happens if digital read but then <coughs> is equal to equal to no and grade one is equal to equal to zero So do what? Turn on the LED digital digital right LED high and change state of the frame frame is equal to one. Now copy this code and paste. No, the update is one. Keep the LED low and change the state from this to, to zero. <coughs> and let's also change this one. Let's compile this one. The <coughs> hex file length. Control C, double click, paste. Okay, let's play this. If when I press the push button, you can see the LED is on, but when I release it, the LED also turned off. What? Well, but but I want. The LED to act in a different way. When I push the button and release it, the LEDs, the LED should stay on, should turn on. And when I press it again, it should turn on. So, how to do that? I will just simply hit low. So, in the, the board instruction are checking that if the push button is pressed now let's check this one as you can see it's turning on and turning off while i'm not releasing the button and you can see that it also works in an abnormal way if i'm pressing it it is turned off and again turned on you can see You can see now it's turned off. This is also wrong. And what if I add a delay? I'm trying to add a uh, delay, for example, uh, delay, for example, 200 milliseconds. And over here also, delay 200 milliseconds. And now compile it. And now let's see what happens. How it works. Okay, now when I press it, okay, it's on and it's off. On, off, on, off. Well, at this point, it works just fine, but what happens when I press the button and I don't release this one? So, what happens? Let's see. It's now it's strong, it's turning on and off, on and off, on and off, which is, which is wrong. But if I press it just for quickly, like this, 
it works fine but the way I want to work the LED is just that when I press the button it should turn on and it is not supposed to turn off until and unless I release the button and when I push it again it should turn off so how to do that change this instruction Now, uh, remove the delay and also for clear. Now, this time, what we have to do is uh, we will use the uh, the button of fake. So, F digital read. Button is equal to is equal to high. Now we are checking if the button, if the push button is released. So what we have to do is just change the state of the BU flag. So BU BU flag is equal to one. And also use this over here in the N instruction and BU flag is equal to, is equal to zero of course uh, by by default that is the flag is zero so that's why I use it zero and also copy this and paste it over here and this one and over here change the state of the flag the flag is equal to one and also right here, the new flag is equal to 1. So as you can see in this program, there is no function which is returning the state and there is uh, no previous state or the current state. That is serial dot print. dot print edd is let's compile this one now let's see Because over here we have already changed the state, so this will make the flag again zero. Make play. Now you can see LED is on, executed only one time, and off, on, off, on, off. There is no abnormal operation, and what happens if I uh, keep the button and closed? So you can see that LED is on, it just went on one time. It. And if I press it again, only it is only executed only one time. We are not using any device, so there is no operation. Even if I if I uh, keep the button and, and then press it, so it's just working fine. There is no repetition of code. No controller processing time is wasted. It, it doesn't keep the processor busy. Microcontroller, so it's just work. It's just working fine. So this is how to solve the debouncing effect in a button and uh, how to toggle an LED. So this LED can be uh, a light connected to a relay. So we can control it and just working on this new application. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, share my video with your friends and thanks for watching.